welcome back to the channel. This is Mike bringing you another video. Now, the other day I was sitting and thinking, you know, the 2019s are getting ready to start hitting the lots everywhere, and there's going to be a pretty good price break on the 2018s. Uh, and if the 18 was out of your price range before, it's probably going to be a little bit affordable. Now, my 2018 is a daily driver. It has about 12,500 miles on it and that's in 225 days. I got the car on March 29th. So in 225 days, 12,500 miles, that averages out to about 55 miles a day. The car has been driven every day. Now it's a base model. misconception is that you get a performance pack you get you get like a better engine or you get this or you get that but you got the same exact engine as the performance pack has there you're not you're not uh, losing anything or compromising anything what you get on the performance pack <clears throat> is an upgraded suspension better tires and a really freaking gnarly interior that's awesome um, the interior is just, uh, I see those red leather seats, man, and it's like, oh my god, I want those. And of course that cool digital dash, but you are not giving up an ounce of performance by getting the base model. You still do the same mods everybody else can do, you can upgrade your own suspension, whatever. Uh, you know, just to get your foot in the door, you're not giving up anything engine-wise, so I suspect here uh, by December, late December, that you're going to start seeing these things popping up with really great deals, and uh, and that's kind of what, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my other videos, it's getting ready to be a really interesting winter in this car because I have to drive it. I don't have a choice, and here in Ohio, uh, it's already pretty cold if you can see my breath. I can see it. Uh, my camera may not be taken out at all, but uh, so anyways, if I was going to go to a dealership and try to get a pretty good discount on one of these cars, um, the, the base model is probably going to give you the most value for your buck. So I wanted to take a look at my car after all these miles. Um, no mods on it so far because I have, you know, one little problem with the car. It's a pretty big problem, actually and I have not modded it, but this is a beautiful car, and I want to show you guys what driving it every day, 55 miles a day or whatever it is, um, how the car is holding up um, with everything. So um, here's, here's my car. You guys know the car. If this isn't your first time on the channel, beautiful, huh? Yeah, just sitting here looking all pretty. So, and plus I want to talk about, uh, you know, some of the things that maybe some other guys aren't talking about. See the interior is holding up well. A lot of people said this bolstering would start to wear out. and Now, so far, I know it's only 12,000 miles, but um, it's holding up pretty good. Now, as you can see, I started the, the oh, trip yeah, detector. Turn off this radio. I started the trip detector about three or four hundred miles into owning this car. So right here you can see the car's been on for 343 hours. It says 1755, 1788 miles, but it's flipped over from 10,000, so 11,788 miles. And I'm averaging 21.8, almost 22 miles per gallon. Um, that's that's pretty good, if you ask me. Um, because if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm not running this thing exactly easy. Um, everything interior-wise uh, is holding up pretty good. Now, this is a black car. It is a base model, so it doesn't have the, the leather seats. So this cloth, I like it. 
um, picks up everything. Every little, every little thing picks up on these seats. And if you have a dog, it's even worse. Um, yeah, way worse. So, but anyways, everything in here is holding up just fine. Now, I've always had a problem with this seat. On the backs of these seats, as you can see here, you have you have this little thing here. This thing just started working about a month ago after all these months of owning this car. And you would pull on it and pull on it and nothing would happen. It was probably due to the cable. The cable probably needed adjusted. But after my daughter's pulling on it for so long, uh, it finally works. And actually it's very useful because before I'd have to lean over and hit the side lever and then the girls would get out of the car and I would have to reach over there and push the seat back. Now you can just push the seat back with your hand just like that. Uh, which is pretty convenient. Um, there's not really much to say about the interior of this car. Now, what would I change if I was going to go get this 18 again? Um, what, what, what would I do different? Um, the digital dash is really super nice. I'd like to have that. I'm not sure that that would be like a selling point where, oh, I got to have that. Um, but I will tell you, this little 4-inch uh, backup camera and display uh, you know it, as far as backing up I'm, I'm generally doing this and turning around and looking to back the car up because it's pretty much um, I don't know if it'll kick on here you can see the driveway but you have to look like super freaking hard um, you know to for it to be of any real use so I think I would definitely opt for the 8 inch uh, LCD with the uh, with the Ford touch screen I would probably definitely opt for that um, and then of course the switches down here on the premium models uh, one is the active exhaust and I think it's like most things you probably get a little tired of that after a while or it's not such a big deal or you probably don't use it as much after you've had it for a long time um, I'm not really sure I wouldn't mind having that because I, I, you see how close I live to my neighbor. Now, I have a beautiful large backyard that's really spacious and kind of private, but out here where I start my car every morning, sometimes very early, um, the car is a little bit loud. So if you could find one with the, with the stack and, and the, uh, you know, the, active exhaust and stuff. You don't have to have the center stack to get the active exhaust. There's so many combinations that you can do on these cars. Now, would I like to have the digital dash? Heck yeah, I'd like to have it. Man, the thing's cool, especially with all the things that light up. So, um, but is this car good enough for me? Heck yeah, dude. I love this car. So, I'm not complaining whatsoever. I'm just telling you what's practical and what's not. Now, these tires we're going to go to the outside. I'm going to show you like the rock chips and stuff. This has no coating on it. So it's been out driving. Uh, how many miles did this thing say I had on it? 12,436 miles. Um, every day driving. Um, what? How, how does the paint hold up? How does the tires hold up? That sort of thing. Um, I will tell you the these uh these quad tip exhausts, they are so hard to keep clean. You can polish them, do all kinds of stuff to them, and they never seem to stay clean. And she's got a nice butt. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the paint. Um, I did get a rock in my windshield, and the windshield had to be replaced. But, as you can see, there's a nice little rock chip. Rock chip there. I probably have about 10 to 12 little rot chips. Um, the bugs are really bad. It's hard to, it's hard to keep this clean. Um, overall though, um, I, I would say everything's holding up pretty well. I mean, you can see back here just how gorgeous it is. Um, there's two things on the paint. You can never get these clean or shiny, the mirrors. I'm not sure why. And this back uh, deck lid uh, is very hard to clean in. Sorry about the cars. 
and it's very hard to clean and it scratches really super easy. Um, you can see the water water marks all over this thing. Now, a, a, the side of the car is pretty met, like there's no nicks or scratches or anything. It's held up pretty well. Now these are the P Miro Zeros and uh, it's hard to see right there. They're okay tread. Um, I believe they rotated the tires last time I got my oil changed, so them front ones were my rear ones. Those are a little bit more bare, and I'm not sure that's going to work for the winter that's coming up. So, got a winter coming up, and they're saying it's going to be pretty brittle, but as you can see the tires, um, you know, 12,000 miles, I would expect them to be in better shape than what they are, so, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Now, there's a lot of people on the internet that say, oh, these cars, they, they kick when they're first fired up and then you don't hear them no more. That is complete bullshit. But this car never kicks when you first fire it up. But then it goes like nuts after a while. Oh, that's one thing I absolutely hate about this car. Be in your pocket, it does that. Uh, I was going to show you guys that, but now I don't have to because I accidentally did it. Uh, but this car isn't making a peep. It is quiet. On a first startup. So, uh, myth busted. And if you guys know have you guys have owned Mustangs, these uh these front hubs here, they get rusty. I, I don't you would think by now that they would learn to maybe do something different. If they don't rust, but I've noticed that on all my Mustangs, this is my third one. They always rust and I, I don't know why. But the car is absolutely quiet. There is no kick. It's just fired up. It's cold. There's the, the cold hot. I mean, I think I fired it up for less than two minutes to pull it back it out here in the driveway. It's not making a sound. But, I am want to say this. Uh, here in recent weeks, the noise uh, has gotten substantially louder. I was in the drive through a couple days ago and I was embarrassed. And it was just, it was just going off. So, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm, I'm going to do something. I promise you that. Uh, we'll see. Um, but back, back to this. Um, an automatic transmission is not, is not a, a deal killer. It really isn't. I mean, um, those, Automatic, those 10-speed automatics are really good, and, you know, I, I, I am considering getting one if I trade this thing in. I really don't want to trade it in. I love this car. I know I've got videos out about the, the engine noise and stuff, but overall, this is a really good car. It's really reliable. I've never seen uh, a, a wrench light or anything to do with the engine light come on. I've never seen any of those lights. The car just does what it's supposed to do. It hauls ass when I want it to. Um, it calms down when I want it to. It gets me back and forth. It does a great job. I love this car. And it sounds terrific. I mean, I think that's one of my favorite things about it is the quad exhaust and, and the noise and the sound. Um, I am going to be updating the exhaust and uh, going with something. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I'm leaning towards course of sports uh, but that should be actually that should be coming pretty soon um, but anyways overall if you're trying to get one of these car and you go with this absolute base model like I do the only options on this car is the blackout package where all the badges are black and it has 19 inch uh, wheels um, all the way around I think the standard car has 18s if you don't go for that no magnetic rider, any of that. Now, if you can get all those goodies um, for, you know, a low price, 
Um, but I'm thinking if you're looking to get into one of these for 25 grand or whatever, heck, maybe even less if it's got a bunch of miles, you're going to have to get something like this. And those are just a few of the things to look out for. The key, the key thing in your pocket. God, it's so annoying. Um, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Gas mileage is great, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, there could potentially be, you know, an engine noise. And I will, uh, I think I might actually have a video from like yesterday. The, the noise was so loud I had to film it. Um, so I'll put that in here. Oh my god, listen to this thing. Oh, it's off the chain. Oh, it's never sounded that bad. Oh, I thank you guys for watching. Um, again, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, um, go ahead and, and give it a shot. I got lots of good stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching. And